Right, Max Jowett, incredible game, an incredible end to the season. Just put into words what you feel like the game went, how the game went for yourself. Uh, it couldn't have gone any better. Um, we, we sort of spoke about what we needed to do after that York game. We were nowhere near his best. Uh, York brought it to us, to be fair, they were good. Uh, well, we were way off. I think we made 13, 14 errors in the old game, and that's just not us. We spoke about just completing, getting to kicks, putting them in corners, and, and, and his middles just Dean up. And I thought they were unbelievable. His halves controlled the game. Um, Mason Gurley, um, his middles on the back of that were unbelievable. Um, as edge players, as strike we've got out there, he's, you know, everyone were were a 10 out of 10, I'd say today, and it probably showed in the performance. Um, we just. I don't think we started too well, to be honest. We made a couple of early errors, um, but you know it, it's the sort of team that we are. We like to shift the ball around. Um, but yeah, look, we, we made a couple of errors. We had a little chat, um, and look, we just needed to grind them down, and we did that. And yeah, it's a very good Toulouse team who, who, who were playing today, and you know I thought we were unbelievable. Yeah, I think the scoreline really does Toulouse a disservice. Obviously, they are one of the teams that have turned us over this year over over at their place. But a 36-nil scoreline probably shows just how clean and efficient we were compared rather than how poor they were, wasn't it? Yeah, we we nailed probably most stuff uh, as defence, unbelievable to keep a, a Toulouse team who, who finished second, um, scoreless in a grand final is, yeah, it's unheard of really. Um, we sort of expected a, a bit of a low scoring game, um, obviously weather it was wet, it was dewy, uh, it was slippy. Um, you know, they've got some big lads who, who can hit hard. And like I said, we just talk about, we, we spoke about completing. Uh, we did that. I don't know what the, the final percentage was, but I just think as a whole, as when you were out there, it's the best it felt this year. And, and the talk from, from everyone were, were class. And yeah, I hope we've, we've made the fans happy today. On top of the, obviously the amazing <coughs> win, winning the grand final, completing the treble, the banners there behind you, obviously, you managed to. <laughs> reached an absolutely massive milestone. You became the all-time sc point scorer in a single season. You first person ever to score 500 points in a season. Did I make 500? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I lost count. Yeah. Once I made that second conversion, I stopped counting. I won't the next bothered. one was 500. So you, you reached that milestone. Just put into words, I know mm. you're one that's very much about the team and obviously puts a lot of accolades back onto your teammates mm. and a lot of praise there. But for yourself, this year has been probably Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't sound right. You, you, you sort of look at the table and you look at some of the names that were up there and you, you, I've said it about a million times today to people, it's just like, why is my name up there? Um, it, it doesn't belong up there, <laughs> sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's somehow, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's been an unbelievable season. Um, I've come in training with a smile on my face every single day. I've, I've played with a smile on my face. Um, Probably owed the, the club a good season after last year, obviously getting injured and missing half a year and not performing to, to the standard it needed to be. I sort of felt like I owed the club and the fans you know, a good season and I feel like I've done that. Um, and you know, I, I hope I've made them happy. Um, I hope they have a good night tonight like, like we will and yeah, it's an exciting time for Wakefield and, uh, and Wakefield fans should be excited at the minute. You speak about the fans, it was just <coughs> over 8,000, the crowd tonight, the largest of the season, the largest for a, a number of years. A crowd like that and kind of the year that we've had really has rejuvenated the club and has really kind of brought the fans <coughs> back on side and fingers crossed Wednesday goes how we want and we are back <coughs> in Super League. It's a real exciting time for the fans to get involved and, and, and they've really come out in force this year. Yeah, you've got to credit every single fan who, who's followed us this year, you know, especially, I keep referring to last year, you know, there, there could have been a lot of people who, you know, I'm not bothered to come watch anymore in Championship uh, and stuff like that, but, you know, Matt's come in, he, he's brought a brand new coaching staff in, a brand, brand new backroom staff in, brand new players, and the, you, you could tell from the first day of pre-season there were a buzz around the place, and, you know, for Matt to get the fans on board like that, and for the fans to, to sort of get on board like that, and, you know, we've had a, a thousand at Doncaster, people travelling up to Barrow and, and, and stuff like that, and Whitehaven, you know, in numbers every single week, it's, for you as a player, it's yeah, it's unbelievable, and their support is not going to notice. And I'd probably say all the lads would, would like to thank them for all their support this year. 
2024 has now come mm. to a close. Is it too early to say, just ask you how excited you are for about the next chapter in 2025? No, <laughs> look, we've made some unbelievable signings. Um, you know, we've signed England internationals, and you know, I think fans probably would never think that they'd see players like Tom Johnson back in a Wakefield shirt and, and Mike McMeek and in a Wakefield shirt running out of Bellevue. But you know, look, that's where the club's heading at the minute, and obviously, Matt's doing an amazing job, and, and obviously, Powley and, and Steve Mills recruitment as well. Look, the must. <laughs> They must be excited for something to, to be signing here on, you know, not just one year deals and, you know, the long term deals. So that it just shows where the club's heading at the minute and you know, like I said, everyone should be excited.